how do we answer the criticism of the Prophet ﷺ marrying Aisha? May Allah be pleased with her. It's a long story, but I'll, I'll just put it in a nutshell. How many times have you read that the disbelievers accuse the Prophet ﷺ of lying, of being a sorcerer, of being insane, of being a poet? A lot. This is mentioned in the Quran. <clears throat> How many times have you heard anywhere that the Prophet ﷺ was a child molester? Never. How many times have you heard any of the disbelievers in Mecca or elsewhere accusing the Prophet ﷺ or condemning, condemning the Prophet ﷺ marrying a child? Never. What does this mean? It means that marrying at this age was the norm at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. And he did not do anything that was wrong at the time. I remember going to the U.S. in the early, well, in the, in, in the mid-70s. And I remember seeing girls who were 12 years old dating men. They were not prostitutes. They were just in the neighborhood. They, used to, they looked old, but they were 12 years old. And they used to consume heroin and, 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 and smoke marijuana, etc. When you remember, and when I remember such things, I say, subhanAllah, nobody talks about this. This is normal. This is what everybody does. Now, it is quite different at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. First of all, when Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, the, when the Prophet ﷺ proposed to Aisha, the, the Abu Bakr said, she is your niece, in the sense that she's my daughter and I'm your brother. And the Prophet said, I know, but Allah instructed me to do this. And we also know through the books of history that she was proposed to before the Prophet ﷺ. So one of the dignitaries of Arabia proposed to Aisha when she was six years old and Abu Bakr refused so if now if you try to measure what happened then to today's measurements it, it would not be fair and lastly now whenever someone has a proposal to his daughter or to his sister he first of all looks at the benefits so even if you have a 20 years old daughter if someone proposes to her if someone who is 30 years old proposes to her you look at the advantages and the disadvantages so 30 years old 10 years older than her what about his salary what about his education what about his religion what about his looks is he taller shorter than her you you know, uh, 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 look to, uh, at the advantages and disadvantages and try to outweigh the disadvantages to see if the marriage is a fit or uh, it does not fit. Now, when someone like the Prophet ﷺ proposes to you, what disadvantages are you looking at? If the Prophet ﷺ proposes to your daughter, who is, inshallah, one years old, would you refuse or hesitate? He is the perfect man. Now, having said this, one said, oh, one year old, six years old, when well, the Prophet did not marry her until she was nine years old. And nine years old, she was a woman. She reached the age of puberty. May Allah be pleased with her. And I remember one of the old scholars of Islam, Sheikh Ali Tantawi, he is Syrian, and he used to have uh, a beautiful program in Ramadan. He, he, he lived in Saudi Arabia the last 40 or 50 years of his uh, life. Um, and he used to say, he was a judge in Damascus, Syria. He says that I, once I, I looked into a case where this woman came with her family and she was seeking divorce from her husband. And I looked at the woman and she was a grown-up woman. 
and when I looked at the birth certificate, she was 11 years or something like this. And I was shocked. This doesn't look like 11 years old. And when I verified this, it was truly 11 years old. But she was a full grown up woman. He said, Subhanallah, then I, it clicked and I remembered Aisha and Allah peace with her. It is the fact. There are girls who blossom and mature way ahead of time. You can find one of your daughters to be nine years old, but she has the body of uh, a 13 or 14 years old, and you immediately, when she's nine, you cover her. And I have one of my daughters who is like 14 or 15 years old, and she still looks like it, as if she's nine years old. She's petite, she's small, and she doesn't, she, she's so innocent, but it doesn't show, her age, age does not show on her. Therefore, don't listen to what the hypocrites or the disbelievers say or accuse our Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ was the best man ever to walk the earth. He was the best husband ever to marry. And Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, loved him so much and when he was alive and loved him more when he, he died Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that is why their marriage was successful and it was a love story a continuous love story with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Allah Azza wa Jal knows